And you know, democracy for us is not about just the abstract concepts. In a situation like ours, we were anxious, unsure of how this outcome would be dealt with, unsure whether there would be an acceptance, whether there would be a peaceful and orderly transition from the one administration to the next. This moment is a testament to the maturity of our democracy. Our democracy has truly, demonstrably matured. That power has moved from one regime to the next regime peacefully in an orderly manner marks great earning success it's a, an occurrence of staggering enormity and we have the immediate former president to thank and i thank him profusely during the counting before the outcome became evident the former president who was still president then reached out to me in the morning and said to me you and your party seem to be doing very well congratulations i and my party remain hope and i sent a message back to him and said Thank you very much. I said, God bless you. God bless us. God bless our country. And I concluded by saying to him, happily, we, Batwana, are one family. And he responded on a light-hearted note and said to me, and you, my in-law. And I retorted and said, your in-law. That is the exchange. And this must tell you that this was sincere. It was warm. And it was a gracious acceptance of what may eventuate. Your Excellency, the President, the new President, sixth President of the Republic of Botswana, Red Mar Gideon Boko, incoming Vice President, Lorna Ndaba. Honorable Members of Parliament, I saw a few here. Head of the Public Service and Accounting Officers, members of the press, a very good morning. I can only confirm what my president just told you in terms of the details of what transpired during the election and confirm that indeed the party that I lead is now learning a new thing, to be in opposition. He used to be in opposition. He's now the government of the day. The BDP has a new title. We are opposition. I'm an opposition leader. Clearly, it wasn't planned on our side. We went into election full of hope and anticipation and confidence. But like I've always said, we are not called the BDP or Democratic Party for its own sake. We are Democrats through and through. I am a firm believer in democracy. And the proposition is very simple. You go and have a contest of your ideas and the public will determine, the voting public will determine which is the most attractive. So don't be surprised when each of us declared to go and win the election. But ultimately the people spoke in the numbers through a process that's been tested that is impartial, that is transparent and evidenceable. We subjected ourselves to it, completely trusting it. It yielded us, yielded us a result different from what we're used to. There is no time to start haggling and pondering or proffering conspiracy theories. We lost the election. We lost it to the UDC. And so it was my responsibility to make sure I rally our troops in the BDP, and while I still, and while I still, and while I still was president, to make sure that we implore all others, not necessarily in our party, and those non-affiliated, to calm down, accept the outcome of the election, and look forward to the swearing in of a new president. It's an onerous responsibility. And you know, democracy for us is not about just the abstract concepts. We peel through it with intention. And peeling through it means walking every step of the way. And so when 
President Boko and I were out there contesting and we said things that we will not say today about each other's parties. It did not take away from us our commitment to this country. It did not diminish in any way our commitment to the Constitution. Certainly not on my part. So I knew I had a responsibility to make sure that we set a standard because we've never had a change of government as in a different party taking over in this country. So the onerousness of the responsibility on me was massive. I won't give a former hell of a president to a small p. Can a president Daji you can I ain't? This is our national president. I urged those who listened to respect our president. The presidency demands respect. To support our president, it's a national patriotic duty. And so, Your Excellency, I look forward to the next five years of your presidency. The standards have been set. We will go through another election. We will see what the outcome is like.